the Creality K2 Plus ironing feature. Can you iron your K2 Plus? Well, let's take a look and see what we're talking about. Hey, good to see you. Welcome back to The Very Life. I'm Steve, the retired hobby tech guy. And today we have something for you. We're going to be printing out a Y splitter and playing around with the ironing feature in Creality Prints. So let's get to it. Okay, we're back. And what we're ended up doing is a little Y splitter action to use between the CFS and the spool holder on the K2 Plus. Now I just finished printing these out. And as you can see where those channels are, it's gonna need some sanding. Uh, so on, on both of these, so on that Y portion, we really take a close, close look at that. There's gonna be filament that's going to be going through there. And those raised areas are going to cause friction on the filament that could cause filament wear, which could get filament dust. And we want to minimize that. So I'm going to sand these up, but I'm also going to print these again and see if I can get a better surface area with this. And how I'm going to do that is that I went over here and you have your objects and I go down to the quality. And with that, going down to ironing. Now, before the ironing type was none, and this ironing can, what it'll end up doing. So the ironing type uses a small flow of print at the same height of a surface to make flat surfaces smoother. And so we're gonna go ahead and use that for all top surfaces and use the rectilinear and see how that goes. And we're going to use the black PLA, and it's going to be going to our Creality K2 Plus. So we'll just go ahead and hit print so we can close that. And if we go to device, boom, even got the camera action going. So, yeah, this is kind of cool. I like this. So we'll go take a look at the printer and see how this goes. So our first print was normal. Our second one, we did all top surfaces, and this one we're doing all solid surfaces. So let's go ahead and print this and see how it works. Okay, so it says our print is completed. Alrighty, time for the quick little comparison uh, over here on the left. And what we end up seeing is the first one. And we that wasn't treated at all. So there was no ironing at all. And you can see the detail on that. Let's just go ahead a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of the surfacing that we get with no ironing, and that's the first print. And here's the other side. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, but it's still got, you know, it's almost smooth, but you got some imperfections in there. Uh, well, when we take this and let's go ahead and we'll put this together. And it snaps right in there and we don't have any any lines or anything like that. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a good print. But like I said, on the inside, what we end up with is just some little bit of details in there that, uh, you know, we probably don't wanna have in there because it'll cause a little bit of problem when we run that PTFE tubing through there. So to minimize any type of excessive wear. So yeah, that's what we get with the no ironing. Now let's take a look at the all top ironing. And there, let's get this. Look at that, so it smoothed it out a little bit more. Not bad, huh? And you can see, I mean, this is really exaggerated. One, because of the light, but it really did smooth out the surface really well. You know, there's a comparison of the side. You can see that. 
And yeah, some places it was better than others. So yeah, there's that one. And then we'll take a look at the uh, second piece. And you can see that there. So yeah, not too bad. Cleaned it up a bit. It's smoother. I mean, the, the first one was okay. The second one with all top, uh, that ended up smoothing out really well. Just some visual imperfections in there. And now let's take a look at all the solid surfaces. And we can see that this smoothed it out even more. And again, with the light and the shadows, it looks worse. <laughs> it looks worse than what it actually is. But on all those top surfaces, it ends up that worked out pretty good. And it's more uniform throughout the whole part. But yeah, pretty good. So that's what we end up seeing with parts that, you know, have the ironing done. Uh, the none, all top, and all solid. And if we put these together, this one ends up, oh, we got a little bit of, a little bit of problem here. Oh, and that's because when it ironed all the, all the solid surfaces, it kind of meshed these down. So we kind of mushroomed out those posts there. So interesting. Ah, so even though this side looks really good and the holes look really good, when we compare that to these posts, that's why we're not getting these things. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of sanding to get those to fit. Interesting. Yeah, so there you have it. The differences between no ironing or none, all top surfaces and all solid surfaces. So now that we finished that up, let's summarize what we found out. We did our first Y splitter and it ends up that there's some little rough surfaces. It does go together, so that will work. But I think what I'll have to end up doing is sanding inside the channel of that Y splitter to kind of minimize the friction of the filament. And then we did one with the ironing feature using the all top, uh, which worked out pretty good. And this snaps in. We definitely got some better ironing and smoother surfaces. But when we did the all solid for all solid surfaces, what happened is it had mushroomed out these pegs so that we weren't able to completely close this print together as it should. So we'll have to do a little bit of post-processing and sand those down, but it did give a great finish on the inside of that Y splitter. So hopefully that'll help you uh, in your tests in the prints that you do when you look at using the ironing feature and some of the different settings. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with us. The Buried Life is where we retired in Korea. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.